So today I'm talking about a P0356 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0356 code? Well, it's an ignition coil F primary secondary circuit malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, basically, each cylinder inside the engine needs the right air-fuel ratio mixture going into it. And then at the right time, there's a spark that ignites the mixture and sends the piston down, which turns the crank and keeps the whole engine running. But when you get a P0356 code, something's gone wrong with this on one of the cylinders. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted. You know why? And the ignition coil F is going to be on the number six cylinder. So if you Google your engine, you look at like Google images or something like that, and you find the number six cylinder on your engine, then that's going to be the one having the issue. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0356 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that ignition coil has just gone bad and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways to go about testing that coil. Sometimes these coils are easy to get to. And if they are easy to get to, quite often you could swap it out with another cylinder that is working and just see if the problem follows. So for example, if you swapped out cylinder number six coil with cylinder number five and the problem followed to number five, then you would know that coil's bad and you know it needs to be replaced. You can also test these with the multimeter and different things like this. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad ignition coil F. And the next thing that causes this is the wires going to the ignition coil. Basically, if there's anything wrong with these wires going to ignition coil F, then that's going to cause issues. If there's any kind of open, there's a short, there's a bad connection in here somewhere, something like that, then that's going to cause problems. So if you can, you can go examine those wires and check to see if there's any kind of obvious issues going on with them. You will need to get schematics for your particular vehicle since there will be differences between manufacturers, vehicles, the year built, things like this. But basically, you get schematics for your particular vehicle, and you check to be sure that you're getting voltage, that you got a good ground, that there's no opens or shorts or things along these lines. Because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of wiring issue. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of issue going on with the spark plug. And this isn't too common. Usually when you get a P0356 code, it's going to be some kind of problem with the ignition coil or something going on with the wiring going to that coil. But that coil does work with that spark plug to ignite the fuel mixture inside the cylinder. So if you do go through and you test everything else out, it can be a good idea to remove the spark plug and make sure that it's good, that there's no damage to it, that it's working the way it's supposed to be working. Because the last thing on the list is going to be a bad spark plug. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0356 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.